Welcome back. This is Robert the Lionheart at Lionheart Lodge. We're back with more Age of Wonders 4. And we have Kral Tur converting to our race. It's a little bit of an evil act because it does kill off some of the population. It's uh, an unfortunate circumstance. But we refuse to have any undead within our people. It's... no. We, we're getting rid of them. We're, we're purging them. Purifying the area. So, that being said, we should see out getting the city spells up and running. So, Consecrated Domain. Thought we had another one as well. Maybe not. I think it's just the one right now. Okay. So, that's now set and ready. And then we were going to... Yeah, here we go. <coughs> if we anoint, anoint them, or anointed warriors, I think it's called. Ascended. There we go. If we ascend those warriors, then they'll become much stronger. Four turns on that spell jammer, huh? <coughs> it's a risky battle. We're going to wait. But one of these guys pulls us into one. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we need to wait on that. She's returned, and that's letting us know about this province. That's fine. Let's see what happens. All right, Morn, you gonna do anything about it? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Hmm. Interestingly enough, no. So if they move close, but don't actively do something, that'll be our chance to strike, as it were. This is demoralized. Okay. And condemned. Okay. Select new research. Find gold ancient wonder. We don't really have any of those right now. Temple of the Exalted. A good one. Well, we could use this in the undead city, but no. It needs to be our people. First and foremost, our people. Um, let's go ahead and get Temple of the Exalted. It was the healing spires I was thinking about when I thought we had another spell. It's really neat. Alright, let's build a sanctuary out here. Probably, uh, probably on one of those quarries we just built. Uh, so, there we go. <laughs> oh well. We'll get another quarry at some point. We do have enough gold to give uh, some units. Gift some units. Uh, reinforced Vassal. Morn. Let's have them guard Morn. No, that's just static defenders. If they join their next mission, then that's even better. I feel. Let's watch over here. Let's see if any of these guys get close. that was being oh this I didn't realize that was being uh, broken as well that's not very cool There's only two of them there though so I could see going down here Let's do it this way. We'll do it in a two-turn movement. This has enough fortification that it can last a siege from that for just a moment or two. Rapur. Oh, yeah. Okay. People here currently are orderly, and that's great. 
I think first thing we need to get, even though these are all good, we need a spell jammer. Regardless of anything else. Put it where this quarry is. Keep it close. Then, let's start building this city's defenses. Uh, Sundran, you can be the governor of Thraltur. Alright, Archon Blood acquired. Where. Oh, there it is. For some reason, I thought it was an orange one, and so I, it was an ore. I don't, it's a liquid. I don't know why I thought that. Whatever. To click it again. All right, Ascended Warriors. Cast it on these guys. Then, come down here to Thraltur. And give Consecrated Domain. Right there. Um, we allowed another hero? That's interesting. Well, let's see. No. That's okay. Elemental units. We don't have any elementals, so... Yeah. That's interesting. So that's very interesting. I don't care about Ogre's friend. Plague Bearer. This unit starts combat permanently diseased, spreading it to nearby units. Um. No, no thank you. <laughs> no thank you. Inspiring Defender. Okay. Materium Adept. But this guy is a melee hero. For better or worse. He's got Inspiring Leader. Restore. Okay. Both good. Sprint. Eh. But he's got Fighting twice and Defense once. Demon Step. Okay, you know what? This seems like a good person to have. Let's let's get him. So he can go down almost to here. But what I should do is just have him build up his own army. And also we can reset his skills once. That's what we're going to do. So there's a second restoration spell here. Uh, yes, no, restoration, absolutely. Uh, next, we do want Inspiring Leader, for sure. And Restore, which then gets us into not Mending Touch. We don't care about that one so much. We want to have Champion of the Faithful, so he needs two more of these skills. So if he goes Defensive Training, his whole army gets stronger defenses. Vigor gives him extra HP, but so does leveling up. I think. Maybe not. Um, however, strength training gives his army extra damage. So the thing about experience leader is experience trickles in no matter what they're doing. I think I do like that. Champion of the Faithful. Endurance training for that status resistance. Yeah. Much better. So, this is a tier th 2. But we have tier 3 green lands. They both deal about the same amount of damage. However... This is a heavy charge, so already better, and can inflict poison.
This has heavy charge, and critical hits have a plus 50% chance to trigger and deal plus 50% damage. Let's go ahead and put that one on, then compare from there. Okay, so either he deals extra damage, or he has a chance of stunning. I'm going with that one. A little bit less damage, but that stun is ridiculously awesome. Yeah. Helm of the Warrior. We have somebody who's running melee, so now that's useful. Leather armor or chest plate of vitality. I say vitality. Uh -huh. No boots. And those are disabled. So lucky ring, extra crit hit chance, or ring of regen. Let's give him ring of regen. No miscellaneous. Okay. So he's going to camp here. And the Hallowed Court is going to start giving him his heaps. Yeah. I think we determined that even though this is great, still, it's not quite as good as what our Awakeners can do. Which is kind of crazy. Alright, well, let's do them one at a time. So let's give him a, a knight, and then he'll still get two Inquisitors and two Awakeners. Because he's the other upfront melee instead of the knight. Oh, Melanus, you're back! How does it feel to be thrown into the void multiple times, over and over and over again? Yeah, that was this turn. Okay, that's what I thought. Technically, maybe what I should do... <clears throat> is have this unit step out here. Uh -huh. They'll go back on their next turn. But now he has his army. Yeah, that's a better choice. Because uh -huh. then this one can go back here and just build up. And he can start taking care of home. Yeah. Right, spells. Wrath of the Emperor. Target enemy army. Takes a lot of damage. Cost 120 mana. We still have a pause. We still have an increase. So yeah, let's um, let's start that. Then actually, burden of guilt. Uh, it wouldn't really matter, would it? Not really. Okay. Probably gonna move closer over to here. <laughs> so, what does this give us? Mana and knowledge per forester. Okay. Adds entwined thrall. Tier one skirmisher. Entwined protector, a tier protector, a tier three shield unit. And Entwined Scourge, a tier 4. Wait, is this the one that she's... Really... Won't show them to me. But, uh, yeah. I think that's one of the units that she's been trying to throw against us. So I don't think that's going to happen anymore. Okay. First, you... Go back here. And guard. Uh -huh. Second, you stop this from happening. Safe auto combat. Uh -huh. Then you head up here. Because you're going after them. We're going to lose our spell jammer for a minute. So be it. Let's 
So I think we can't repair this because, yeah, we have hostels in anywhere in our domain. Okay. Wait a minute. Target enemy army. Spells blocked by Spelljammer. But it shouldn't be blocking ourselves. Alright, well, they'll have it down in a minute, and then it won't be blocked. Whatever. It's probably one of the safest places for a spell jammer between two friendly cities. Oh, they came right at us. This turn. That's a bit rude. anguish. Uh, that's not gonna happen. Uh, roving furnace. Molten spill. When it's attacked, when it attacks or is attacked, adjacent units get five fire damage and have a chance of becoming burning. So we want to deal with this one with ranged. And then this is a dragon. And, ugh. All right, well, let's see what we can manage. I think we'll be fine. So we get all the extra morale. Yeah. Which, um... <laughs> means our morale is 40. And therefore high. High in spirits and confident of victory. Critical chance, 20%. Okay. So... Where do we want them to come at us? That's obscure, right? Yeah. Well, in that case... It doesn't do anything for the flyers. So let's put our knights. Knight and our hero. Nope, just our knight. Okay. But just our knights in the obscuring area. Then we'll put our, our uh, wizard there. These guys can actually stay right here. They need to awaken that guy. These guys need to awaken him. Been awakening. Face back to the forward. Status resistance and they take extra damage from certain attacks. And we are going to wait for them to come just a little bit closer. Yeah. There we go. There we go. So either these three or these three. Or these three. I say these three. Stun this one. Or step forward, and now we have multiple options. So 39% chance to stun that one. 90% chance to stun that one. Um, yes. And the dragon. Oh, absolutely. 66%, uh, 90%. Stun that one. I 
be charge strike. Well, first, let's awaken anybody who is not awakened. That would be them. Yep, okay. Next, we are poisoned. They are stunned for one turn, so if we get rid of poison and get um, some heals, that's probably a good thing. Coming in here, damaging that also seems good. So what about Wrath of the Faithful? Let's do it on the dragon. The sooner that one's gone, the better off we are. Yep, okay. Well, a dragon just burned to death. So, there's that. Anybody who needs awakened? Uh, yeah, multiples. Awakened there. Awakened here. Molten okay. spill right next to that. So what if... They'll both get hits on him. They're both gonna hit him if he if he moves. So let's just take this one out. I thought we would. Then we can give him some heals. There are a couple of our units who need that. Yeah, our hero being one of them. <laughs> Still on cooldown. Let's just have him take that one out. Uh -huh. Let's try this first. Yep. Okay. Let's give him some heals. And then turn. It is a dangerous fight. This is for certain. Uh -huh. Stunned is nice. But once it goes down as a friend that pops out. Maybe not if the battle ends. Okay, cool. Well. He handled it. Then upon leveling up, he'll be able to do so better. Uh, Magistrate of Eternal Court seems desperate. I am ruined. I have gotten myself and my people into debt. My treasury lies empty and my former benefactors are out for my blood. They've taken members of my family hostage, making threats of mutilation and death. The heir is mortal. Tell me how much you need. 314? 
fine. Oof. Not happy about it. <laughs> okay. They need to stay here for a couple turns to heal. These need to be fixed. Oh, we stopped him from breaking that one, that's why. Okay. Let's get this one. Okay. So let's increase our mana income. Spell ready to launch. We don't need that now. <laughs> uh, let's look down here. Yeah, no, we don't need it right now. Um, let's look at, uh, ranks. Hmm. So they could use Ascended Warriors. Let's watch down here now. Ending. That's not going to do you any good, my good sir. Oh well. So what we should do, just start running through all her stuff and breaking it. <laughs> Making it harder for her to maintain. Uh, maybe, except the AI may be getting bonuses there that negate that being an actual thing. Alright, so let's hop out here, so we can start dealing with these things that are nearby. Don't think we can handle the infestations yet, but... Actually, I wonder... If we were to recruit another one, leads to an additional gold and Imperium costs for recruiting and maintaining. So, maybe not. What is our upkeep for heroes? Uh, is that going to be in... Probably no um, upkeep for our, our main leader, right? I don't see where upkeep is set for these other heroes. So, I don't know. I do not know. Set production here. Lots of options. If we go Monument Supremacy, we get faster draft. So we're gonna do that. Uh -huh. We should see about doing this really quick. Uh -huh. Tomb of the Lost Mother. Okay. The Lost Mother. Eleanor Arclight enters the tomb dedicated to the Lost Mother, Lost Empress Eleanor of House Inyak. She herself appears frustrated. I was an empress, the wife of Lost Emperor Inyak the Fallen, returning here after giving life to the Crown Prince of the Valley of Wonders. Now I am used as a mere pawn to bewitch my very own son. I will not stand for this. I demand that you free my son from this disgrace. She gestures and faint lines appear around her like webbing, or the ropes of a puppeteer. I will not fight you, Lady Diviner, Eleonora Arclight. 
Remove the threads that bind me to the spell cast by that spindly witch hiding underground. No curse can withstand holy justice. Invoke your divine powers to break the spell. Probably. Oh, until you've gained enough affinity. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Done. She nods as the webs disappear. Good. Now I can rest once more. My mandor visited me often. He has seen so much loss. I fear he even feels guilty for my death. Although there is no need, I am at peace. And I am proud to see my child has grown to become even more powerful than Inyok was. Thank you, Lady Diviner, for granting me, my son, and the souls of our proud elven homeworld the peace they deserve. Before I go, answer the Empress of the Valley of Wonders. Why are you here on this realm? Okay, so we're gonna get knowledge. That's great, it's a, it's a full turn less of that. Um, the Bind Ancient Gold Wonder. I'm here to save this realm and release the souls who wander here. That would counter what we did to the city. <laughs> because it is a Gaudir's duty to protect the realms. I'm here to claim it for myself alone. No. Uh, this one. This is why we're here. I want her to head down here and to stand there. Oh my gosh. Ascended Warriors. Let's come up here. Give it to them. Oh. Now where are they? One or two more casts and we should be good. Yeah. Yeah, they went as far as they could. Okay. End turn. So let's watch down here. Curious what Eleanor, or not Eleanor, uh, Milenus and Morn do. <laughs> well done, Morn. That's that's what I want to see. Just raise their stuff. Don't even worry about it. I don't want to follow along with Morn right now. I had vision here to see what she's built up. You know what? She can head all the way over to here. And they can both head a little farther. So let's base it off of where she can go. Let's start moving on her. She deserves it. You, my friend, camp there and keep going. Keep building up your defense army. You are going to clear this. It's a low risk battle. It means we'll have to go into combat for it just to make sure. So, out of curiosity, oh. are you close enough? No. So instead, we wait. Waken yourself and someone else. Waken yourself. Waken yourself. And then we go defense. Make them come closer. Oh. Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah. This is the turn to start. <laughs> she can't quite reach all of them, but she can reach three at once. So she's going to. Can he stun anybody from here? Yes. Yes, he can. Didn't stun him. Didn't stun that one either. Wow. Yep. Charge. And good job. You stunned the dead 
individual. I want to save this one for last. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Alright, Wrath of the Faithful. Makes that one look like it. Now the brow is low. <laughs> yep. That's what I would have done. Eat your own people. That, you know, it makes sense. Hey, what is that? Disrupted. I, I kind of hate that disrupted. Oh, awaken. That one. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Awaken. We need to wait for that one. So, go up here. Awaken them. And fire on them. over here and put pressure on them. Then... Let's make them not be at full health. Okay. No awakenings from you, or from you, or from you. Okay. 65. We're already down to one shot, so we may as well go up to where we can get better. Here. Based on what happened last time, let's give them a little extra health so they don't go down too far if they attack them. Nope. They're attacking them. Whatever. Now, their skeletons have wings, so there's there. These are undead that have been angelized or something. Like, excuse you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's take those rewards. Let's actually go into our item forge. We have a bit of stuff, and we can always break down more. Uh, let's make him a hammer. Oh, I'm looking right here. One-handed. Uh, show... Okay, fine. So primary. There we go. Two-handed. Give you a great hammer. These all the same base, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Well, then why don't we give you something that looks cooler? Let's give you a halberd, right? Oh, but it doesn't have a charge. However, it can strike multiple times. Let's let's try this. I am curious what we can manage. Ability infusion. Provoke. Assassinate. Power cleave. That could be good, but it takes two of these slots. Two out of our five infusion points. Life steal could be good. Look, be bleeding, burning, diseased, slowed. So if we inflict bleeding, burning, we put on life steal. 
That's all five. So it's melee strike. We'll deal 20 damage each strike, which means 20 to 60. And we'll have some life steal, which he desperately needs. A giant and cavalry slayer. It's not a charge. But it could inflict burning and bleeding. Enlightened bloodletter. Sure. Craft that. Okay, my friend. Your peeps need to heal a little bit. Oh, it's being repaired. I was like, what? This is a, an iron deposit. Okay. So these all need... These three need to be taken out. But I just want to make sure. Yeah, we're good there. So the thought is... Maybe I could use him to take them down, but I think they're too strong. Let's see, he's 1,300. Hmm. Yeah, he, he wouldn't be able to do it on his own. I, I definitely do not believe so. Not yet, anyway. So, let's bring him down here. And let him heal. Once he's healed, he's going in after them. Ascended Warriors. Probably should have done that first. <laughs> oh well. So he needs one more. And then they'll be at Legend as well. Okay. Ascended Warriors. Hallowed Court can annex another province. Alright, so there's either a farm or a quarry there. Forester, Forester Farm, I mean, a bunch of different things. If we get this, we can get another mine. I think that's what we should do. This city can... can have quite the territory. That's pretty awesome, actually. The hero leveled up. What? Oh, look, it's him. All right. Or anything more we needed you to have over here? No more protection? Nah. I mean, technically, I could give him vigor, which increases his maximum HP. But if instead we give him the defense and evasion, that much harder to hit. Just seems like a good idea to me. Oh, right. It was the nightmare. Like, what did he find? <laughs> Spells ready to launch. Two. Nope, it's actually only one. Okay. Hop down here and watch. See what Melanus does. It appears nothing is what she does. She's fine. They need to rest one more turn. So they could either go after that farm or they could come over here to the resonance fields, which do what? It gives them. Okay, gives them casting points. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh. It. So we can tell that there's two armies over here at this time. Can't tell much more than that, but we will. Set production out here and seat above all. Well, they have their full army. Uh, this could be good. So good. Stone walls, Temple of the Exalted. State Hall gives us extra food. It means more growth. More capability. New Empire Development Skill. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Court of Whispers, yes. Crypt Blade, probably not. Uh, no. So, 
Court of Whispers. Absolutely. Absolutely. Who's sending inv invasion forces? You are? That's rude. Don't do that. Um... Right. So, diplomatic overview. Three cities. We have four Whispering Stones. Can't give them one yet, and I don't think we're allowed to give them a Whispering Stone, because we have set... We have fixed relations with them. Now, getting this to increase would be nice, but they're a tributary, so it's probably not going to happen. Instead, let's give Whispering Stones to people who are not at war with us, but may not be... That's fine. If they're not at war with us, we can give them Whispering Stones. Then, what we should do, find this one. Okay, good. It's like, is this the find button? <laughs> ah, we can't do anything about it yet, but we could do the whisper spell, have them like us even more, have that be a good thing. All right. So, we have two out of the three on Web of Madness. All we have to do now is get rid of the Spellweaver. We also need to get, finish getting rid of Melenis because she's an annoyance, and I'm over her. Over it. And we're making an item for our melee guy. And... Yeah, I don't know. I think we made some good progress here. So, until next time, good luck, have fun, and have a great day.